What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Maths Guy. Today we're going to be looking at how to add large numbers. Let's go. So the one thing we're going to remember today is that we're not going to forget our column titles. This becomes really important when we get to large numbers so that when we are doing our calculation, we don't make any small mistakes. Okay, so let's look at example number one. We have 7,424 add 9,829. Okay, so let's first of all put some column titles in place. We're going to need ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. And now I can simply put my numbers in the correct place. So 7,424 would be 7,424. And I'm adding that to 9,000. 829. Now, when I'm doing addition, I like to leave a gap between my question and my answer box down here so that if we have anything we're going to carry over, we have an actual space for it rather than trying to squeeze it in. Let's see what I mean by that. So, our first question here, I'm going to start with my smallest value, is my ones column, and the question would be four and nine. Now, when I add four to nine, I obviously get 13. And my 13 is broken down into a 10 and a 3. Three ones and one 10. So I can put my three ones straight into the answer row, but my one 10, I'm going to carry across into the tens column. I do that because I have not added my tens yet, so I can't just put a one in the answer column because I have these other tens to add to it. Now I can answer my tens question, and the question is two, but it's actually a 20 plus 20 plus 10, or in other words, two tens plus two tens plus one ten. How many tens do I get? That's right, five tens. And now I can get rid of that one because I've already used it. Okay, in my hundreds column, I have 400 added to 800, and four plus eight equals 12. So I have 1,200, or in other words, my 1,200 would be 1,200. And with 1,200, I can see I have a 1,000 and a 200. So I can put my 200 in my answer row, but my 1,000, I'm going to move into the thousands column because I've not yet worked out my thousands. Now I'm solving my thousands and I have 7,000 plus 9,000 plus 1,000 and that equals 17,000. Now, here's something different. Because I have nowhere else to go, I have no other questions to answer over here, I can just put my 17 straight into the answer row. Because I have no 10,000s to add on to this one 10,000 that was in my answer. So I can just put my 17 straight into the answer row. So my answer to 7,424 plus 9,829 is 17,253. Okay, let's look at this second example. And let's be a bit quicker with my setup. So I'm going to have ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands, just like before. And this time I have 8,729 added to 8,968. Again, I'm going to leave this row, so I'm going to put my answer row a little bit lower so that I've got this gap just here to put any numbers that need to be carried over into. What's my first question? Always start with my smallest value, in this case, ones. And I have nine ones added to eight ones, which equals 17 ones, or in other words, one ten and a seven. Carry my one ten across and put my seven ones in the answer row. My next question is my tens, and I have two tens added to six tens, added to one ten, and that equals nine tens. So therefore, no need to put anything into my hundreds column this time. Now looking in my hundreds, I have seven hundreds added to nine hundreds. That equals sixteen hundreds. So sixteen hundred would look like this. Sixteen hundred or one thousand six hundred. So I have one thousand and six hundred. So I can carry my one into the thousands column and put my 600 in the answer row. Now my last question is 8,000 
plus 8,000 plus 1,000, my new 1,000 I just added to it. 8 plus 8 is 16, plus 1 equals 17,000. And again, I have no 10,000s to add up, so I can just put my answer straight into the answer column. So my answer to 8,729 plus 8,968 is 17,697. And there you go. That is how to add large numbers, but crucially, understand exactly what you're doing when you're carrying those digits across into the next columns. Let's think about what to remember. First, always put your column titles on the top. Adding your column titles will make sure that you put your numbers in the right place so that you're ready to set up your questions. Start with your smallest value. In this case, we add ones as being our smallest. If your mini answer is greater than nine, then you're gonna to need to carry into the next column. And we can understand that by realizing that if we get an answer of let's say 19, well a 19 is actually a 10 and a nine. So I can carry the one 10 across and put my nine in the answer column. Your turn, have a go at answering these two questions. Put your answers in the comment section by pressing pause on the video now and spending some time working out these two questions. I'm gonna mark them all guys. Press pause, good luck. And there you go, that is how to add large numbers. Hopefully this video has been helpful. If it was, head on over to themathshelter.com where you're gonna see loads of videos all sequenced so you can understand exactly what you need to learn next. But for now guys, I'm gonna see you in another video. Peace out.